So the story goes kind of like this. I've been using DistroKid for years and I have this uh, Musician Plus plan activated. I pay 35 bucks a month and I have two artists to upload. Let me show you here. Let's say I, I want to upload some music, right? I have two artists, my personal name and then my band, right? Recently I wrote some music that kind of doesn't fit into either of those categories. So I thought I make a new band, right? Make a new band name. So, but I can't upload it. I can't distribute it through DistroKid under a new name because I, I only have two slots and they're all taken up. And to upgrade to more slots, you have to pay like twice as much money, which I don't have. This is expensive. Like I can't, I can't afford this. So I thought I'm gonna save a buck. I'm gonna be honest here. I just wanna save a buck. I know there are two other distributors out there cd baby and tunecore now cd baby takes money per upload and i wanted to release a lot of music this is kind of uneconomical for me tunecore pretty much the same thing as distrokit so i thought okay i'm gonna go for the first cheapest tier on tunecore just for this one artist and uh save some money and they lure you in you go to tunecore's website they lure you in with the sleek presentation you know the front page of their website is beautiful you know much better than distrokit but then you pay you sign up and you face the insides of the website, which is this hideous looking, absolutely unintuitive interface. It's fucking awful. But you know, I was looking to save some money. So I stuck with it. I went through the whole process and let me tell you, I was really thorough. I checked everything, double, triple checked. I'm paranoid as fuck. I filled everything correctly. Let's just be clear on that. I choose the release date, I submit, go about my business. Couple days go by, I receive an email. Now you can't make this shit up. Look at this. Hello there. Per the TuneCore terms and conditions, TuneCore has the right in its sole discretion to reject any material submitted by TuneCore users for distribution. This notice is to inform you that TuneCore has blocked my fucking album from being downloaded and streamed from all the, all the fucking stores I've uploaded to. While we have no refund policy, of course, a refund uh, for your submission can be processed under certain circumstances which are not disclosed in this email, or actually nowhere fucking disclosed. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions. I did have some questions, so I wrote them back. My main question was, what the fuck? I submitted an album for distribution last week, but it got blocked. I would like to know why. Fair question, right? Uh, now, a couple days go by, I get an email like this. Very short and sweet. Your request has been updated. This is the comments here. Victor, my reviewer pal. Hello there, thank you for writing and I apologize for the delay. Unfortunately, we have made an internal decision not to release the content and to protect our review policies and practices. So we do not disclose the reasons why releases are blocked. Best Victor, that's it. That's all I got from them. Just, I gave them my money and they were like, nah, thanks for the money, dickhead, fuck off. That's, that's my experience with TuneCore. Like, what the fuck is this? It's not supposed to be a gatekeeping service. They are not, it's not in the contract. At least it's not readily apparent that when I upload my music through TuneCore, the quality of the music or artwork would be checked in any way. And just to, just to make sure, I'm just gonna say this right now, I did upload that same exact release with the same parameters, everything, through DistroKid, just through one of my artists that I already had, just to check, just to see if it will go through, and it went through no problem whatsoever. It was perfect. So this is basically like if you went to the train station, you bought a ticket, to get on the train, and then you get to the train, you give the ticket to the conductor or whatever the fuck, and he goes, fuck you, get the fuck out of here, I don't give a shit. And not even tell like, this is the wrong ticket for the wrong train or whatever the hell, or maybe I don't like your face, not, not even I don't like your face. Even if they said I don't like your face, that would be better, but they said nothing. Just fuck off with your stupid ticket and you could go fuck yourself and no refund. What the fuck is this? How do you explain this? So yeah, basically, yeah, the difference between DistroKid and TuneCore is that DistroKid does what it says it does, and TuneCore does nothing. Just takes your money for nothing, and you, you could just go suck your own dick.